what's really happening in canada international students sleeping in the tents i i'm always moments away from like a mental breakdown just from the stress of uh, wondering if i'm going to be homeless soon because they couldn't find accommodation and hundreds of people lining up for only few jobs in the mcdonalds or you know different stores and now justin trudeau having the allegations over india regarding the murder of hardeep singh which is making the relation between india and canada worst credible allegations of a potential link between agents of the government of india and the killing of hardeep singh nijar despite of all these things do you really want to come to canada and if you do you have to build a better future here is what this video is about this is aditya soma welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm an immigrant i moved to canada 12 years ago as an international student now i'm a real estate investor and real estate agent here in windsor ontario so this video is specially for people who are already here but lost not finding jobs or don't know what to do or people you know who are thinking of coming to canada especially in 2022 2023 do you really have to come and if you have to come what do you have to do and for whom it's a better country to come to migrate here or immigrate here watch till the end you know i'm going to share a lot of insights that you know i experienced in last 12 years because you know personally when i came as a student i got into it i worked as a software engineer for 5 years and then quit the job got into self employment uh, real estate sales now i've been doing sales for last 5 years and now you know built a business around the sales now i have a team you know where we help people buy sell you know invest in different things in windsor ontario now we are like team of 10 people there is a lot of negative things going on and a lot of negative things i'm hearing from people who are new to canada especially you know the international students or the people who came and open work permits not finding jobs or you know not finding accommodation that really made me feel really bad first of all because that's a reality is you know there is lot more people came over last few years now you know there was not enough houses or jobs to accommodate those people certain communities are having uh, difficulties managing with the population growth that it's attracted so in this situations you know can we really have a better life here i don't want to give one answer you know it re it really depends on you because you know personally i have seen the other side where i struggled for 6 months to get a job 10 years ago when i graduated because one i didn't had the skills that i needed two i didn't know how to approach companies i didn't know how to apply i didn't know you know a lot of things initially i was just bitching about it hey there is no comp no jobs here you know what i'm gonna, i'm not going to do anything i'm just going to wait for people to give me offer me jobs and unfortunately it's not working out that way here and i believe you know i'm talking to some of my friends in india it's the same situation there too like everywhere not just india like you know anywhere in the world right now even in us the best country in the world still the same situation where who are going to make it in life versus who are not going to so the number one rule i been following for last 4 5 years since my life got better is one stop bitching about it stop you know thinking only in a negative direction or oh, there is no opportunities there is no jobs let me just suffer no stop being hard on yourself start asking yourself the right question what can i do to get a job what can i do to start a business what can i do you know to buy my first house what are the things i can do so when you ask when you shift your mindset from thinking there's no opportunities to what to do trust me your life will start to transform and i have seen that personally for me and my family is since i started focusing on what i can do life started to change for a better reason if you're a student thinking of coming here as a student and you're already here what skills do you have because you know we all have some skills if you don't have any skills what are the areas what are the you know type of services that you can learn are you good at learning you know photography or videography or you know are you good at learning sales or are you good at uh, learning video editing what not there is like hundreds thousands of opportunities out there especially in this technological world ai world you you can learn anything at your fingertips the power of the sun in the palm of my hand there is a notion that you know oh i can find things easily i don't have to work that hard no you have to build skills in order to you know get into a better life or get into a better job start 
working on yourself first even if you don't have skills approach people with the enthusiasm with the passion that hey i can help you in this sense if you're going to you know drop a resume at a convenience store and expecting them to call you just like you there is thousand other students gave the resume what's the difference between you and them if i go to the same convenience store maybe i would say this hey here's my resume but don't even worry about it how about this if you have a need i would like to come and work for you for free for next two weeks or a month see my work see my work ethics see how i'm keeping up with the you know whole team if you like it then only you know continue keeping me in this work and pay me if not i'll just go away change your approach instead of approaching like thousand other people because there's more people than the opportunities so when you approach the same way you're going to get the same results which is rejection right and when i gave this suggestion for some students they raised a concern like oh i don't want to work for free for two weeks because you know i'm not going to get paid and how i'm going to survive and my question was like you know you survive for last two months you didn't had any job how did you survive how much is your cost of living for two weeks but what if you get the job because if you're not getting a job and you're not going to get for next one month anyways what's your cost of opportunity think again not the negative way the positive way another story that you know you have to take home i, I recently hired a student to do some um, work for us um, for win city I, i also made a full video about it you know go check out there he's like literally two months in the country he came to one of the networking event i hosted he was friendly professional communicating just like a normal person not as a hey i'm a student i'm looking for a part time job if you have any job can you please give me a call he never mentioned that he's like hey i saw your videos i approached you because you know i really like the work that you're doing i'm very curious to learn more on that side that's why i'm here in the discussions if you need any help with your workout i can come and help you wh- whichever the time you want which wherever you want it was a free service that he offered he started training me there was an opportunity arise in my own company like where you know i wanted to hire someone for uh, doing some activities and this guy had the skills because i know his personality i know his skill set because you know we are talking so now he was the ideal candidate for that role now he is making 3 4 000 a month and still a student this would not be possible if he would not have taken that extra mile to pay money for an event and go and network with people not just approaching for a job this applies for any career you're trying to approach even if you're on a f- f- uh, work permit and you want a full time job in it or different things show your skills when you perform with your skills obviously the opportunities will follow and trust me the biggest challenge that many people don't know in canada hard to find a skilled people so for example i want really good listing agent a girl who can take care of some of our selling the properties and i've been looking for last 6 months i still do not find it and I, i've been looking for operations manager who can take care of on the operation side of the business and i still don't have one because there is not many people who are in winzer who has the skills of operations or who has the knowledge in that regards so there is lot of other companies you know i talk to a lot of people in my field a lot of companies have the same challenge having a good skilled people to work for them your job is to find what are the skills that people are looking for which companies are looking for if you don't know what companies are looking for go for the different events where companies come and talk about their company get to know their company ask them more questions hey what kind of skills you guys are looking for and now go build those skills if it's in your area of expertise go build that skills and you know with this online presence again there is everything you can learn but you have to put time instead of your putting if you put that time in bitching about something you would have learned some skill and and make money off of it you can use the online to make money in different sources so now you got my point right there is opportunities out there for people who are skilled who are prepared who are ready for it and unfortunately here in western countries the negative things like you know access to drugs access to strip clubs access to porn access to different kind of shit is easy and not only it's easy it's more acceptable because you will see a lot of people around or in that position i'm hearing some sad stories like recently one of the telugu student here in winzer this is not somewhere else died because of drug overdose 
and no one knew that after he died like until 2 days so his dead body was in the house for 2 days i felt really moved why is someone is going through this the reason is because here it's easy and you're alone whereas back home you have friends family always someone around you you getting into that kind of things it's not that easy you know even people are getting there as well but again here it's even more easier when you're in pain when you try to access this side of life you're screwing up yourself even more on google or on social media whatever you search for you get more of those like have you ever noticed on youtube when you look for you know um how to get a find a job how to get it job or how to get this and that you will start getting more of content in that side but if you start googling how to find a girl in canada how to hook up with a you know on online how to all those things like any negative side of things even if you search for those your content will start to come up only in that areas the google thinks that you know you are more interested in the negative than this one the life is the same way if you're curious about this thing you will go into that deep hole if you're curious about good side the better life you will get that as well in the deep side that's how i went in like you know i i i wanted to change my financial life 4 years 5 years ago i was in a bad debt almost uh, 50 lakhs indian rupees this is like in canada after 6 years in canada right i started googling about how to do this how to do that and started to get more recommendations and i started to get some really good sources because of that i'm here talking to you making this videos and having you know very good income in my, like i make pretty solid income and not only just me make i have a few agents work with me i help them to make this solid income as well just because i focused on that positive side not the other side so it's your choice where you want to focus your energy where you want to take your life towards and i will conclude here you become what you want that's it like if i can do it you can do it too not only just in canada even in india there's a the best life out there waiting for you it's your choice so if you're planning to come here make sure make your mind and start learning things on the positive side learning skills in the areas where that you can find opportunities you will find it and trust me just be little patient in doing all those things don't expect that you know if you started learning a skill and you will get a job tomorrow it might take a day it took me 6 months to find my first job and after i quit my job i got into sales it took me 3 months to make my first sale so it takes time but i never stopped doing things honestly you can have a better life here in canada as a international student as a working person but you need to be prepared you need to you know build the skills you need to build the right mindset you need to build a network to in order to have that you need to have a open mind and if you come with all those things or if you at least make your mind and start looking for those things i promise you can make it you know simple if i can do it you can do it too there's no difference between you and me except your willingness to go towards the positive direction instead of the negative direction hope this video was helpful for you let me know what you think and you know if you're in canada what's your experiences let me know in the comments below with that thank you so much for watching good luck with your future have a wonderful day